work on another one. And um, this rider called Horse to Bunbury Cross Street is totally full of good. Yeah, totally full of Charles Good all the way, right? So now the weird of the horse. You know, they get the hormones from the horse, basically. You know, in the, um, the cross side, the yeah, right, is the cross and the trans crossing. Right? And there, uh, all occurred in this, right, yeah, um, Gamma got Gurton's Garland. But yeah. Um, the Tom Tits songbooks at now, triple sevens and triple T's all over and everything. Right? But you see you have his, a ring on her finger. Now this is the syringe cord, right? Yeah, the ring on the finger, like this uh, Solomon signet ring, right? that's basically a syringe cord, right? And then the straw is the trance. And then the strangest is also the trans, right? And yeah, the trans here, yeah, these are trans codes, right? Strangest woman you ever saw, of course, you know, that's the trans, right? There's so much more code than that, right? Yeah. And of course, the cock idea, the cock horse means a high spirited horse, right? So, you know, they get high on hormones type of thing, right? But as you see here, right? The, yeah, the, the fine lady has been associated with Queen Elizabeth I, obviously Queen Elizabeth I. The Virgin Queen was rumoured to have been a man anyway, right? And uh, that's the one who gave the, the um, what do you call it, monarchy across to uh, James, King James, who you know, went, up, went on to sort of to release the Bible and all that stuff, right? So it makes perfect sense that it's the day with that one, right? Of course, the dates, you know, the dates are debatable as always and not. I mean. um, but yeah, you see that they're, they're using a brave new world, Aldous Huxley. Yeah, Streptococ G, the Banbury T. And then these uh, toots and some against the sun monkey man. <laughs> With fear. Uh, you know, he's a weedy, tea weedy monkey man. So loads of good in that, really. Term, sort of reading that read put us in mind of Rosie Crucian Society, read Rosie Cross. So, if, you know, if I look here, type in horse and rose, and there's, you know, there's quite a few things about horses and roses, you know. So, obviously, the horse is linked to the rose. You know, it's only one letter, we of course, type of thing, you know. And then, the horse and the rose idea, read the Rosie Crucian Society. And there are a few different ideas like here. Uh, of course, you put horse manure on roses when you want to grow them and that, the flowers. Right? And there's this Ryan Rose who's uh, one of the sort of most best known professional horse trainers and all this. Another thing here, like Amber Rose, bit of hex. Chasing horses, model. Quana Rose. Of course, they love the chase there, uh, the chase and the dragon idea, you see. So as you can see, it's a bit of horse and rose ideas. It's Ryan Rose, is a well-known horse there, three and apparently and all that. Right? You see Rosy Crucian Furbred, more breed pedigree and all that's a bit. But yeah, it seems to be a big, you know, we see a link between a horse and a rose. These are, of course, supposed to be secret to a brotherhood of alchem alchemists and all that. Of course, you have the cane idea, you know, the cruise, the cross, and the cane. Again, like so many, so many of the stuff, you know, originating in the 17th century. So, you know, you're talking about yeah, 16th, 17th and 18th century. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of this stuff basically come about. Of course, if it's like, you know, they can just swap a hundred years around 
like nothing, you know. Stick a hundred years on or take a hundred years off type of thing. See what I mean? Because if it's that early, there's no one around to sort of remember. See what I mean? Going back to 1800, there's no one alive who could point to the difference of uh, the discrepancies or whatever. So are we in there? Uh, secret brotherhood of alchemists. Let me see here. You know, something to do with the horse and the rulers, you know, like symbols of peace, you know. So it's, it's here, yeah, horse and rulers is, you know, linked like. Of course, the idea of the rulers are their prickles, okay? Pricks off the ones, you know, whatever you want to call them, type of thing. And this, this is sort of seeing to do enough thorns of their yeah, prickles. The idea of the ruler's thorn, right? So obviously, you know, this is here. Why the, um, they call the Rosy Crucian Society, see? Because it's all about the pricks and needle points yet again, right? Prickles, needle pricks. Yeah, this is one of the famous quotes of Shakespeare. Again, got an SS type of thing. Right? And then um, it's here. Uh, you see what, what the numbers are on it. Line 43, 7, 44, Janus or Dalits, Act 2, Scene 2. There's lots of pillars in that. So, you know. Highly good at their position in the chapter, or whatever. A lot of transes use it. You know, a lot of the, you know, musicians are not naming the albums after it and all that type of thing, you know. It obviously must be one of their favourite trans here, quotes and that. And it's obviously, you know, it's got alluding to the idea of an ear. Of the prickles or the you know the thorns and prickles idea so it's like um the brewers at the top it's very like a sweet flower like a nice flower but underneath it's the prickles that sort of you know led the flower to be like that type of thing or something you know what i mean it's like uh, one of the main curds like what to use so you have one yeah uh, blondie and yeah uh, the gossip and you know all these crap bands and that I'll name the songs in that. So yeah, let's just say Bunbury is in Oxfordshire, right? So we're in the heart of there, you know, tea drink a land, basically. And there you see here, the name Bunbury may derive from Banner, the Saxon chieftain from the 6th century. You know, of course, I'm totally made up, like, but the name Banner, right? The name Banner. This trans is called Banner. No, Banbury Cock Horse. Cock Trans, you know what I mean? And then there's this trans, right? Banner Time. And of course, you know, well known for being the F. Wait, rich, yes, you know, that's all you're known for. Big money than that. He's got all his books out, like, here, yeah, you know, we are going to change your life. Anyone would do it, like these type of things we're trying to con profanes or naturals into thinking that they can make money, see? How to be smart or how to be trans with your money, see? Of course, you know, what he, he's coming from, that's big where he's trans. You know, anyone would do it. You know, it change your life, you know, it's all trans see? These type of rip, trying to rip off the, you know, daft profanes with his books, see, total tea drinker, <laughs> nice bit of good of course, you know, one of the hexes what to put in, Nagora, first wife Gawley, and second wife Nagora Whitehorn, Of 
course here. You know, the Ruhr's idea is very central to the, you know, the reason of you know, Jesus' idea, you know, restoring through the, um, basically the tea juice. Very funny old day. You got that same coiled serpent side, yeah, like in the caduceus and all the rest. The Jesus rose, rose from the dead. Christmas rose, a forever blooming rose. And, uh, in biblical use, rose of Sharon is a flowering plant of unruined identity. See? Again, you know, it's a trans metaphor, really. No new and identity. The rose of Sharon and Song of Solomon, you know, Solomon's signet ring, 2 1, triple 7, or 3. And here, here. Yeah. Yeah. Shir Hashirim, Song of Songs, Rose of the Valley. Like all your Sharon, see, just happened to be the eleventh Prime Minister for the Pillars, Arik, yeah, the Hawk. And there's the uh, looks like a couple of roses on it. See, total transy idea, or not. Died on the 11th as well. A bit of pillars there. A bit of hex. A bit of double hex. A bit of your Norwich Yorick. You know, horse. Who are you? Saxon. Yeah. And Banbury Cross. Horse. Horse is sauce. A strong concordance sauce a horse. Plenty of uh, uses of that thing in the air uh, in the Bible on that. Well, let's he has a book with free horse by Sharon Simon. A Simon free horse. Mustang Mountain, number 7, MM33, number 7, the free horse, Sharon Simon, he has Pegasus in Hebrew, of course Pegasus is a winged horse idea, you know, again, the spear, you know, the spear and the, uh, like the coils idea, 